G'day, 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 today I'll be chatting about a couple of effort video. Why I don't like Elon Musk, just please just speak in my mind. First things first, uh, he, Tesla, yes, Tesla, is the biggest bubble I have ever seen. Honestly, Elon Musk is the master of bubbles. He gets ripped. Rich off the dot com bubble. He's got rich off the Tesla bubble. What's next? Take a bubble all the way to Mars. And then that's number two. Starship. Starship. Pretty crappy rocket. It's flimsy. It explodes. He breaks FIA re regulations. He doesn't follow the rules. And people think he's in innovative because it explodes. That's actually the reason because, ooh, so fair, so cool. They can roll them out like all the time. Super first to make her. Yeah, yeah, Elon Musk God. All hail Elon Musk. Even though where they're low quality and they are literally water tanks. I'm not even kidding. Water tanks with some fancy bits strapped to them. And of course, Starship. 150 tons apparently or whatever. And in order to go to the moon, it requires orbital refueling. In order to go to Mars, requires orbital refueling. In order to go anywhere outside of low Earth orbit, you guess the orbital refueling. <sighs> and uh, you may be saying, no things equivalent, reusable first and second stage, you know, heavy lift, reusable rocket. To that, I say, New Glenn. Made by Jeff Bezos. Everyone's least favourite guy, even though he's just standard run of a mill billionaire. World's richest guy. You know, people put jab at his companies like Amazon saying, Oh, the workers have awful conditions, blah, blah, blah. Well, when you are competing with Walmart and Bon of the Bill, that's sort of called capitalism. You need to stoop to their level. And two, Elon Musk also has bad conditions for his workers. So don't you blame Jeff Bezos. And during lockdown, Amazon would have helped a lot of people, allowed people to buy stuff they wouldn't normally have. Tesla, however, while well, Elon Musk was complaining about lockdown, so I'd say he had a negative effect. And also he does heaps of PR stunts and stuff. And he's a literal scam artist. I'm not even kidding. A scam artist. If you're doubting me, where's Tesla semi truck? Where's Tesla Roadster 2? Where's the cyber truck? That's right, no way. And he got people to pay a hundred dollars for the cyber track. It's almost like he wanted to raise the stock price of Tesla while getting a cheap zero interest loan. Hmm. Which is probably an illegal action now, that's probably a loophole. And oh yeah, his new Tesla AI robot, which has Will rival Boston Dynamics. Spoiler, it won't. It is literally the fakest thing ever. And do you know where in a year everyone will have forgotten about it? It is literally a scam. 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 Yes, get that in your mind. You know it's in the pattern. And he's... And Tesla buying Solar City, which will probably land him in jail or strap him with several billion dollars in fines. Yes. 
I'm not joking. And once there's no Elon Musk, then Tesla share prices will stop completely planning it. There'll be crisis, there'll be layoffs, and they'll go bust. And so Tesla is doomed if Elon Musk go loses the court case. And at four, SpaceX versus Blue Origin, big rivalry. You got Starship and New Glenn. New Glenn is a pretty good air rocket. Like around fifty tons, that is. That doesn't. That sounds like a lot, and it is. Although compared to the Starship claim numbers, it's not that much. But fifty tons will get you a lot, and I presume there'll be lots of purpose thatches. Instead of using just one satellite, you can put multiple. And it looks like you'll have a pretty good geostationary orbit. We'll be able to get heavier payloads to geostationary orbit, which is cool and stuff. And honestly, I think that the New Glenn rocket will be delivered on time or delayed by less than a year. Why? Because Blue Origin's motto is step by step ferociously. And that seems to be working, considering that uh, their new shepherd, which people compare to a uh, reproductive orb organ, that goes to space. And Pete Tesla fanboys like that. And Richard Branson got to space first, even though he didn't. 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 Effing didn't. Not space. But that. Oh, yeah, and I'd just like to go on a tangent. The Nazis won the space race. Yes, and by the purest thing, they got something to space first, unless you can point to me how uh, actually this thing, explosion, got something to space or something like that. Please point it out to me. And as for Starship, well, it's got an opening door on the cargo version, so it opens and you have to have this clumbersome way to get out uh, the satellite or whatever. It'll just be Meanwhile, New Glenn, I reckon what you'll see is you'll get people delivering single satellite modules to space and get and being serviced with some might no thing so let's say you're a private company and you want to make a space hotel with and you like the inflatable s- space station concept and they seem to be coming and so you get a 50 ton space station which and you plan to launch a rocket to the space station and let's say this rocket carries four people of course I presume if you're making a space hotel you'd need one staff and that staff could do experiments and stuff so and you could have four pa- customers paying quite a lot and they'd stay up for a week then they'd come down and you could uh, launch another rocket. So, I think New Shepard will play a role in, well, not the O'Neill cylinders or whatever they're called, if Jeff Bezos is dreaming of. I reckon they'll play a crucial part in space infrastructure. It'll be suited for large, bulky items and anything past. 50 tons is a bit over necessary, of course, unless you go into the moon. Which it will also do, and I think he'll deliver modules to the new lunar gateway that's being proposed. Which is cool, and that is a cool segue into another thing I want to talk to you about. And that's 
Mission to the Moon, Artemis. And, well, as I don't think Starship will be- make it. Plain and simple. I think it will fail. And it was a stupid idea for NASA to go for Starship. Personally, I would have gone for the Dynetics, although the national team is also appealing. So, and Dynetics has fo- is focusing on the secondary contract. So, Jeff Bezos is suing NASA. So NASA sp- stops funding s- SpaceX, same as they'll do fine on their own. They'll get the money back later if they win. So it doesn't really hurt. SpaceX, if, if if it goes in the way of SpaceX, same as Elon Musk has plenty of money he's investing in Starlink, which will not be as good as everyone thinks it will be, considering that it's got competitors from OneWeb, which launches from a Soyuz, which is, oh well, yes, yeah, speaking of Soyuz, uh, which has manage it to be competitive with the dragon cap with dragon to whatever despite being 50 years older than it and i know the current model is actually but you get the point 50 years old and that gets me to another point the soviet moon probe the soviet space probe was really kept when sergey Kareli, or whatever his name was died And if Elon Musk gets chucked into jail, you'd get a similar effect to that. And you'd lose something visionary, despite the fact that Elon Musk isn't really that smart. But when it comes to space, as Starship will show you. But yeah, speaking of lunar scientists, I think that the national team would make the contract time especially considering the space suit delays and stuff and <gasps> spoiler i think commercial payloads will be sent to orbit first with the new glenn instead of starship despite the starship supposedly going to orbit this year even though they'll probably get delayed by next to next year and the fact that spoiler alert, it doesn't actually go to orbit. So, yeah. And Elon Musk makes all his money f- from Tesla, SpaceX money off the NASA, who pays for Tesla, SpaceX to develop rockets. And that works. And also, Tracking 2 was delayed massively and just because Boeing effed it up doesn't is not an excuse for SpaceX's failure. So yeah, honest and I'm excited and if Starsh if NASA keeps the Starship I honestly think China will reach the moon first. I've got not not got much left to talk about. Man, as I said, this is non-scripted. So yeah, that is there anything I don't talk about? Uh, oh yeah, I reckon that Blue Origin is good because it has a billion dollars a year, which is comparable to a large space program. I'm not arguing. It's a pretty major space program, and they're not developing science stuff, which is... Well, I like space for the science, because same as I like knowledge. And did you hear about the Chinese rover? Gets a kilometre. Pretty nice. A billion years, dollars a year to develop rocket means that they can develop some pretty good rockets. So that is all.